The NCAA's transfer rule is creating chaos in college basketball. KSNT's Laney Gerber tells us how coaches are handling it. Everyday people have the freedom of choice, including the ability to choose where you want to work. NCAA Division I athletes have been denied this right until recently. Now, a player no longer has to sit out a year if they transfer schools. I don't know if there's a coach in the country that feels good about it, to be honest. Uh, it's... Um, I knew we all knew it would affect it. We never thought we'd get to we're getting near 1400 1500 transfers. There are obvious concerns for this new rule, such as player retention, building a culture and smaller schools being abandoned for bigger ones. K-State men's basketball has already seen three players leave and three transfer in. In a way we traded. I kind of laugh. I I kind of feel like a general manager of a franchise instead of a coach. But how about Division II athletics? D2 athletes never had to sit out a year, which helped retain standout athletes who could go D1 but didn't want to wait. It's part of our reality now, and I think that, you know, we can, we can complain about it and, and, and moan about it, but at the end of the day, we, we've got to try to prepare for it as best we can. Another big concern with this rule is how it will impact high school recruiting. With experienced players at coaches' fingertips now, a lot fewer high school players could be walking through the door. You know, you'll recruit some high school kids, um, but at the same time, you might be able to get a better player down later on, so you better hold some scholarships back. The NCAA changed the rule so those who actually drive college sports, the athletes, get their power back. I think that's how it should be, in my opinion. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool that people can just transfer and play their first year there. It's been a positive thing uh, the last you know, five years to, to last decade to try to give them more power and more of a say in, um, you know, the, the overall landscape of college athletics. You know, again, I, I think they in most cases deserve a lot of this. It'll be interesting how it all unfolds here over the next couple of years. Reporting local news that matters, Laney Gerber, KSNT Sports.